welcome to the Chef King Yari and Chef Kathleen show. Right, King? Right? This is going to be a special show for a special needs child and a special need G mom. We're going to be showing you how to make little basic things that your kids can cook at home as well. So today, what are we making? What's today? Taco Tuesday. Is what? Tell everybody there. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Yes, so we're going to be making tacos. So we want everybody to come with us. First, what do we have out? We have our pot, our pan, right, King? Pan. And we have the griddle. That's the only two things we need to use to cook with. We're going to cook our meat in here. It's not hot now. We don't touch it. And then we're going to do our um, taco shells right there, okay? Okay. So come on, everybody. Let's come in here. Come around. Come on. Here we go. Now, King Yari, you stand over there. And I'm going to hand you all the good things you're going to put right there on the counter that we need, okay? Okay. And you say check. Ready? It's going to refrigerate. Here we go. We need the ah taco turkey, right? The turkey. Put it up there. Check. Check. Put it up there. And we also need... Some cilantro. Check. We need scallions or onions. Check. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we need some um, radishes. I like to put this in the little taco uh, preparation Check. that we put on top. And we need, what do we need? Oh, we need, I have a little uh, cabbage, like coleslaw. That's going to go on our Check. topping. Cabbage and, yep. And Check. This is some more. Um, lettuce that we're going to use. Check. And what else do we need, King? Oh, we need the taco shells. Taco shells? The taco shells are in here. Get out the taco shells. Okay. Where are they? You see them? Check. Check. You got it? Got it. All right, here we go. And I think that's about it. We're probably forgetting something. Oh, we do need this. We like to use a little bit of, let, let me show, let's show everybody. It says lime. Check. The lime. And we're also going to use, believe it or not, people, we've got Thousand Island. We're going to make a nice little special uh, lettuce topping that goes on the tacos. Mm, delicious. We'll get our sauces out later. I think we got pretty much everything else here. We're going to need some cheese. I don't have any grated cheese. We didn't get to the store, but we can grate our own. And we're going to do a little... Uh, Different types of cheeses, okay? Let's put that over there. All right, you ready? Check. Okay, so now what we're going to do is cook the meat. We're going to do that. We did wash our hands, right? We just washed our hands. That's the most important thing. King, tell everybody out there, before you cook, what do you have to do? Take a test of day. You got to wash your hands, right? Wash your hands. Wash your hands, very important, right? Why? Okay, so let's get ready to cook the meat. Okay, so now we're going to take a little bit of oil because we're using turkey. Turkey has very, very little fat in it, okay? So in order to really get that meat nice and brown, you put some little bit of oil in the pan. And we got a fire going about mm, that, that, that much heat. And you got to let pan get a little cured and hot. It's been on a little bit and I think we're ready to put the meat in, okay? We're going to put this in, our turkey. Just use your hands. Ooh. Did you get, oh, I hope you didn't get popped. Oh, no. I'm sorry, baby. See, Ooh. that's why you need to stand back. A rule of thumb, stand back a little bit, sweetie. You're too close. Get your little stool and you can stand back here. Just a little bit. You stand back there. You never want to get too close, okay? Stand right there and just stand here next to Jima. And we're cooking the meat. See? I'm gonna break it up. Break it up. I'm coming. Yep, it's gonna be very good, isn't it? Okay, so I like to do. So the meat is brown. And we're gonna, I like to take a little bit of the dry taco seasoning. Usually I like medium or hot. I love. McCormick products, okay. McCormick, I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Now I'm gonna start reducing my heat a little bit. And now, King Yari, you're gonna put in the top secret. Okay, these are just not regular tacos. These have this new brand of sauce. It's skillet sauce. Look at this. 
this right here, this right her, okay? It's ground beef, but we have tacos, but it's still a liquid taco sauce. It's so good. Kinyari, would you like to do the honors and pour it in? Come on. Yes. All right, sweetie. You pour it in little by little. Just pour it slowly, and I'm going to stir. There you go. Pour it off. Hold on to it now. Don't let go. It's a lot. See how the consistency of this, people? It's rich and it's thick and it's yummy, yummy, good, huh, King? We like this and we're going to try to get all of it out. We don't want to leave any of it in. But usually I take a little bit of water and put the water in here, okay? Because we don't like dry towels, do we? But we don't want them too wet and moist because it'll break the shell. So here we go. We just did a little bit of that. And this is going to cook down and render a little bit. Yes, sir. What's up? We're going to get over there in a minute. I'm going to show everybody how we're going to make our tacos top us uh, uh, topping. Nasty. Oh, uh, that's not nasty. It's good. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's put the lid on. I'm just going to let it simmer a little bit while we do our taco topping. Okay. Okay. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to make the topping that goes over your tacos instead of taking a whole lot of lettuce and tomatoes and the um, cheese and onions and taking little bit by little. I like to mix up a nice, nice little. Yucky. <laughs> it's good, King. You like it. Okay. I use the base with coleslaw that has a little bit of carrots in it, any kind of cabbage coleslaw. Put in about a handful, depending on how many people that are going to be eating. And then I like to take your regular baby um, spring lettuce with um, some um, purple coleslaw. Here, King, would you like to put that in here? Yeah. Put it in the bowl for me. Just dump it in there. There you go. Dump that in. And then I like to put, I use scallions. I've already chopped them up. And red onions. Red onions are so good in everything. Oh, so good. They're so good, aren't they, King? Put it in here, baby. Just pour it in. There you go. Make sure you get it all in. You got it all in. That's good. Now, one of my very favorite things I like now as an adult, which I really never liked as a kid. Now? Look. Radishes. Yes. Now. Radishes. This is very Hispanic or uh, a Mexicano having radishes in a lot of their foods. And it really tastes so good. It gives it such a good crunch. Yeah. Now this, what is this? Cilantro. 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 I love cilantro also. Put that in there. Ooh, I like a lot of cilantro. Okay. So now let's move this out the way so everybody can see. And we are going to... I usually take my hand a little bit. My hands are still clean, people. You gotta have uh -huh. clean hands when you cook, right, King? Yeah. Your hands are clean too. His hands are very clean. All right, but we're gonna use the fork and a spoon. I like to take a little bit of the taco sauce and seasoning, dry seasoning, and put in there, okay? That adds something very special. Now, with that, I take some lime juice. Usually I squeeze lime, my lime, lime juice. juice. Lime juice. Lucky. You like it? You like limes and lemons, don't you? Yeah. Yes, you do. Okay, so we're going to take some lime juice. You kind of have to do this to touch and feeling people. That's about enough. I like it maybe four tablespoons, okay? Now, this, believe it or not, the piece de resistance. This, this is a thousand island dressing. I put the thousand island in here. It gives it color and it gives it a whole different feeling and taste. So I put about a hand. Yucky! It's all good. Stop saying yucky. You're going to be tearing it up. Here, want to stir it for me? You take the spoon. Let's stir it up. Okay, copy it up. Oh, what? Okay, keep it in. The, keep it in. I'm going to stir it up. Stir it up. Throw it in the pan. Okay. There you go, King. There you go. That's a good for you doing it. You are doing it. Keep, keep stirring. I gotta get one thing. Keep walk, keep stirring and watching that. One other thing I forgot okay. that I really like to throw in and use with everything. Bayou Magic. It's Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Okay? okay. It gives a little I heat to everything. Me. And you know, I, I don't hardly ever use salt anymore with anything. 
just mix this up really, 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 really good. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I promise you, I guarantee you. So look at that, let's, let's let them look at it. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be good on those tacos. Ooh. All right, so here we go. Be right back. I usually like to cook with olive oil or a mix of olive, olive oil and canola. Now I have my grill. I like to use my griddle, my grill. No, griddle, grill, whatever you call it. I put a little bit of oil on it, okay? This way you can get, I get six on here, okay? So I, I got enough, you gotta see this. I'm putting this on with this spatula so it can spread around. And I take the, the uh, tacos and I spread it like this. So that way it's already got the front and back done, okay? So you don't have to put any more grease on with the uh, oil. We call it grease, you know where we from. <laughs> You don't have to, and this is really quite a bit of oil. I don't like to use this much. I have a little bit too much because I don't want a lot of oil. It gets a little fatty, but it's okay. So I have the uh, griddle going. It was already hot. Make sure it's hot before you put it on, but not too hot. You don't want to burn them. So we're going to let this cook a little bit. And King, if you want to stay there, do you want to help me grate the cheese? Yeah. Or you stay right here with G-Paw. You can stand here and talk, and you watch those, and talk to G-Paw for a minute. Okay. Talk to G-Paw, and we're gonna um, do the cheese. How are you doing, King? Look at G-Paw, ask him a question, man. Chop. Yes? Chop cheese in here. Okay. How old are you, King? Chop the cheese. I want the cheese. How old are you, King Yari? I'm good. You're good? How old are you? I'm, I'm nine. You're nine years old, right? Yeah. Yes, you are. You're my sweetest baby. Okay, so we're going to do, we don't have any cheese right now. We're going to put some in. This is actually a Gouda. It's always fun and good to mix cheeses, right, King? Here, you want to hold that? You want to do it? Yeah, I, I can. Be careful. Here we go. Let's show them how we do it. This is how we do it. We're going to grade the cheese. We're going to do our own cheese. I'm doing the wrong side. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do some cheese while the, our tacos are cooking. With cheese and cheese and we're not gonna put too much cheese because we're all on a little diet, aren't we? This is the gouda. That's a gouda, isn't that gouda? Yeah. And usually, you know, you use cheddar sharp cheese. Let's do this one. Here we go. Be careful because this can cut you. Hold the top, and we're gonna go down, 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 up and 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 down. If we twerk, we're gonna twerk it up and down. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. You better do Come on, be careful. Don't put your finger on it, just the cheese. All right, getting down kind of low. Let's do it like this, look. So you can put any kind of cheese. Sometimes I use feta, feta cheese. Come on, don't be traditional, people making your tacos. Think outside the box. It's always so much fun. Okay, King loves the cheese. King loves the cheese. That's it, I gotta move the cheese. No more cheese for you, okay. So the tacos, Ooh. you should have a little thing you flip it with, but I'm just so barbaric. I just take my fingers and do it like this. Okay. Shouldn't do it because it's a little hot. All right. It is a little hot. See, the browning. I really have, I'm telling you, too much oil on here. The next ones won't be that oily, but I do it like that. And I'm going to take a little bit of, knock some of this oil off, people. Mm -hmm. That's my bad. I'm not perfect. I know most of y'all thought I was. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit and knock off some of this oil off. This grease, that grease, that grease is on fire. And I turn it over like that, and when I do that, I just fold them like this, okay? So when I fold them, they'll be ready to mm. stick your meat inside. Yep, okay. Boy! Yes. Don't do me. So just get a, get a little spatula or something, people, but it's not really that hot. It's a good way to burn your fingerprints off. You don't want to see fingerprints off here. So I do that, and I move this, and then I just put on my others. I used to put some more oil on them. I'm not going to do it right now. Put them right here. See, you can cook a lot at one time. Boy, I love it. It's really very convenient, okay? So that's what we do. Just slide them down here. Flip them over a little bit. It depends on if you like them crunchy or soft. Mm. So that, that matters how long you cook them, okay? Mm, so, so Don't eat any more cheese, okay? You're eating up all the food, boy. I'm sorry. All right, baby, it's okay. All right, so there you go. And these are almost ready to take off. And just repeat it, and that's cool, okay? So one minute, we're going to load them up and show you how we do it. 
Now sit down and enjoy it. Okay, now this is the fun part. We get to load up our tacos, right, King? Yeah. Usually I like to put, when they're hot, put the cheese in first. Once again, my hands are clean. I'm just gonna load I one up. It. No, you, you, I'm gonna let you do yours. This is mine. I like to put my cheese in first, and I like the chile sauce, the green chili sauce, okay? Depending on how, he, how hot you like it. And then I like a little bit of the salsa. This is mild. I have some hot that's hot, but this is good. I like to do that. We're loading it up, baby. We're loading it up. If you like jalapenos, God bless you, you can have that. And you gotta have some sriracha. Cucaracha, sriracha. Come here, King. Come on, let's finish up, sweetie. We're almost ready to load yours up. And then, people, right here, right her, right her. This is the shizita. This is what's gonna make you call your mama and everybody you love out of their name, okay? So, King, wanna load yours up? Ready? Gonna take King Yaris. Here, come stand here, King. Show everybody how you do your tacos. Okay. Okay. Let's put a little bit of cheese on it. Wanna put the cheese on it? Yes. All right, go ahead. Put cheese. Let's just do one. Put a little bit of cheese on it. There you go. That's good. And what do you like up here? What do you like? This one. That you like the ketchup. Ketchup is so good for you, man. Hold on. Right. No, that's all right. We're gonna keep working here. We're almost finished. Here we go, King. You like the ketchup? You wanna put it on? It's tough. Some people, here we go. A little bit. Tell me, stop. Say Wednesday. Here we go. The ketchup for the kids. Kids. All right, enough. And then, though, I do like him to have this. He loves the topping. We're gonna put all of it. Hold this for me. And let's put on this favorite topping. See, this is a chance where the kids get to eat the lettuce and the radish and the onions. Cause they don't know the difference because it all just blends in so good. Mm -mm. We're gonna eat this in one minute, so don't go away. Be right back. Wait. All right, people, look at that. Those are real authentic tacos, homemade. Okay. You ready to eat, King? All right. Let's say our blessings. Here we go. Say it. Dear Lord. I do it. Thank. Okay, you're gonna do it. Amen. Amen. King, here. Let's take it. Let's do a toast. We did a good show today, didn't we? Cheers. Say cheers. Cheers. Mm. Let's check these tacos out. Let me see how you like it, man. And of course, I know you people know how to hold a taco like this and be like, mmm. 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 Mm, that's good. See you next time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Taylor.